Have you heard about these changes coming to email? They're starting February 1st, but they're being slowly rolled out across the year that are gonna affect cold email and bulk outreach. Well, a lot of people are talking about it, but I'm gonna give you the things you need to know as a HubSpot user, specifically to these email changes. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. So what this means, again, there's a lot of technicality and you can nerd out on all the stuff. One, you need to have your email domain authenticated, which means there's three types of records that you need to do there, SPF, DMARC, and DCOM. And if you don't know what that is, drop me a link under this video and I can help you out there. We've got a whole blog about it. Secondly, make sure you're set up with Google Postmaster tools because all the reports are saying, you know what, there's only about a 0.3% threshold for spam, which means that if you're sending a lot of email and there's not a way to unsubscribe and people are just like, you know what, this is spam. How did I get on your list? What is going on? Or quite frankly, they forgot they were on your list and they reported you as spam. That's going to be really, really um, something you want to pay attention to. However, it's not just in HubSpot. The Google Postmaster tools is going to help you track those spam reports across your entire domain. Because if someone reports your everyday, like one-to-one -one emails, let's say like I sent an email to you about something and you accidentally marked me as spam, that's going to count and it's not going to show up in your HubSpot dashboard under total percentage of unsubscribes. So get that Google Postmaster tools to make sure you keep an eye on that. Number three is you actually need to have a unsubscribe link in your one-to-one -one emails because... Now, again, if you're sequencing people, or you have a lot of messages going out. So let's say you have a seven step email. If there's no way to unsubscribe, the higher likelihood that they report you as spam is there. And again, with the spam thresholds coming down, that's gonna be a bad thing for you. So just at the bottom in your email signature, add, don't wanna get emails from me, click here to unsubscribe. Super simple, make sure that's in your emails. HubSpot does add that automatically and you can turn it off. I would make sure you have that turned on as a best practice. Keep an eye on your email subscribe, email unsubscribe rates because now we're going to be seeing that one click subscribe. We already get this a lot inside of our Google like Gmail inbox, but that one click subscribe is going to be right there at the top. I use that a lot because uh, I don't want to scroll down to the bottom to find the unsubscribe link, but that's going to be added to HubSpot emails automatically now, like mass emails, email newsletters, any of those nurturing emails and workflows, those are going to, those are going to be added automatically. So you may see your unsubscribe links go or your unsubscribe rate go up. The other thing to keep in mind is because it's there, because that one click is there, it's going to make it even more tantalizing. If you start to get off on your value, which is where like content strategy is king, you got to stay in the lane that people expect of you. Otherwise it's like, you know what, this isn't relevant to me anymore. Unsubscribe one click, right? So real quick, set up those three things, SPF, DCOM, DMARC, two, set up Google Postmaster tools, three, add those unsubscribe links to your one-to-one -one emails, and then four, watch out for those unsubscribe rates. Make sure that you have that one-click option. Again, it's being sent in HubSpot. Make sure you have an unsubscribe link at the bottom, and you'll be all set to make sure you manage those email authentication issues that are coming out here in 2024.